Since Monday, celebration has continued to fill different parts of Guinea following the ouster of President Alpha Conde. On Tuesday, the second full day that soldiers were in charge of Guinea, troops were still manning roadblocks in Conakry, while some roads remained cut off from civilian traffic. In a press conference, opposition leader Selo Diallo said he was willing to work with the junta, a major endorsement from the political class for coup leader Mamadi Dumbuya. The CRND can count on our support in the effort to build a peaceful democracy in our country. This is an opportunity to pay tribute to all Guineans inside and outside the country. Force mobilization contributed to the fall of this dictatorship and to honor the memory of those who made the ultimate sacrifice for the advent of September 5th, 2021. Anad urges the CNRD to include in it priority responsibilities, the establishment of legitimate democratic institutions capable of implementing reforms that can quickly lead the country to the national reconciliation and the establishment of the rule of law. The West African nation faces major political uncertainty regardless. Alpha Conde had only been re-elected for a third presidential term last November. If this situation continues, the army may return to power because everything was already planned. Just think, a country where a professor comes to power and we were told that he is a professor of law, so there was hope in Guinea that we would experience a handover of power for the first time in the Republic. But unfortunately, the professor was deceived by his entourage and finally fell for his own trap. The military has not revealed a broader plan for governing the country.